Hey everyone, in today's video, I am going to show you how we can create a multiple drop down and how we can retrieve the value from the multiple drop down when we change the value or select the value in a flutter flow. Now, let's start. First, we need to one drop down drop down component. I add here and search drop down and now see here one drop down is added in a builder I am going to property and add your value Java PHP and Python. now I want to select any value from the drop down then I want to show in a text widget now next I select a text widget and bind selected value from the drop multiple drop down I centralize first and uh, in a property text here I select drop down now drop down value yeah now I first I convert drop down in a multiple drop down here allow multiple select I check true and now it is a multiple drop down I select text widget for showing it value I select drop down now drop down value is in list form so directly it is not showing here for that we need to create a custom function select here I create a custom function name should be multi drop down to string we need to argument words and list form it should be is, is list form okay I add here one line a condition if words equal to null then it should be written blank otherwise return words join it should be concatenate with delimiter comma I save this function and again going to builder select text widget and bind that custom function and pass here drop down list of form select and default value should be double dash so double dash means it is not selected yet now I have shown one error okay we need to compile custom function it is proper now I run this application now it would be take time now we can see here application is going to running now it's close the debug panel now we can see multiple drop down and text widget now again I select a Java Python and see value selected here I select two value Java and Python and the value it is initialized in a text widget so PHP here three values selected now I deselect Java and Python now we can see here what value is there PHP so what we do in, in a flutter flow builder so basically directly we not get any value in a string form that's why we need we are adding here one custom function multi drop down to string in function what happen it is give a list of string and list of string I convert in a one string using join method so this way we can create a custom function to achieve our our value our value which is not provided in a builder so this way we can implement multiple drop down and retry the its value